Welcome to my channel, Delips Patient for Trees again. Among more than 55 Legastromia species, two species, namely Legastromia indica, the crepe myrtle, and Legastromia speciosa, the queen's crepe myrtle, are most popular for their attractive ornamental attributes. In this season, you can see their intense blooms in many Indian cities, including Bengaluru. Now, you can have a glance to differentiate these two species. First, look at Legastromia indica, the crepe myrtle tree. It is a small sized tree with small circular or elliptical leaves. It produces profuse clusters of striking rose to red colored flowers. Now, compare it with Queen's crepe myrtle, that is Legastromia speciosa tree, which is robust in all aspects. It is a large size tree with large size leaves and flowers. Flowers are pink to purplish. In my earlier videos, I spoke on Queen's myrtle tree in details. This video is all about crepe myrtle that is Legastromia indica which is known by different names in India such as Shawani, Faras, Furus, Chinapu, China Goranta, Jarol and so on. Though native to China, the species name Indica indicates its Indian origin. It was introduced to the USA and the UK in the 18th century. It has been grown as ornamental tree for over 2000 years. We can find this tree in upright spreading or in vase shaped forms. It can attain up to 6 to 8 meter height except dwarf cultivars. If not pruned, it grows into a multi trunked tree with open crown and profuse clusters of brilliant flowers in diverse colors along with beautifully colored smooth mottled trunk. The tree blooms usually from June to September with little variation depending on cultivars. In the Bengaluru climate, I found its blooms in the month of March and May also, which is shown in this video. In Delhi, its blooms start in April. The uniqueness of this tree is that it offers something special to show in every season. In leafless period in winter, we can see its handsome exfoliating barks and trunk color. In autumn season, it displays attractive leaves in orange or yellow colors. We can also see its longer blooming period up to three and a half months. Only very few trees can match the beauty of crepe myrtle tree. This tree is highly recommended for planting in urban landscapes where heat accumulation and air pollution are more. It performs at its peak where heat accumulation is more and it is tolerant to air pollution and drought. It is grown as street tree along boulevard in traffic island, in lawn, and other urban green spaces. Its dwarf cultivars can be grown in large containers and in residential premises. Sometimes stems of several plants of this tree are woven to make bottle case shape look. The breeding program of this species is very interesting. Let me speak a little about it. Even though Legastromia indica produces striking flowers, it is very susceptible to powdery mildew disease. It is also susceptible to cold damage, especially in young stage. In 1962, the United States National Arboretum, a botanical research center located at Washington DC, initiated a crepe myrtle breeding program under the supervision of a research horticulturist named Donald Egolf. During initial years, National Arboretum released six crepe myrtle cultivars through selection method from pure Legastromia indica tree. Later on, in 1978, this research center released two hybrids, namely Muskogi and Natchez, by hybridizing Legastromia indica with Legastromia foriae. 
These hybrids combine superior attributes of Legastomia indica and desirable traits like disease resistance, cold hardiness, and handsome bark from Legastomia foriae. Again, in 2003, the same research center released two triple hybrids, namely Arapaho and Cyan. By adding another cold study species called Legastomia limi to the breeding program. Like that, National Arboretum released many popular hybrids, which can reach different heights at maturity and produce variety of flower colors. More than that, they are resistant to powdery mildew disease and are also cold sturdy. For naming each hybrid, a name of Native American tribe was used. Few more examples of National Arboretum hybrids are Ecoma, Tonto, Juni, Tuscarara, etc. They produce white, pink, maue, and rose red colored flowers, respectively. Dr. Carl Whitcomb, another ornamental breeder from Oklahoma, USA, developed popular crepe myrtle cultivars mainly by selection from pure. Legastomia indica tree. Three of his most popular hybrids are dynamite, red rocket, and double dynamite. These cultivars produce red and cherry red colored flowers. They are also disease resistant and cold tolerant. They show rapid rebloom and their flower colors do not fade away with age of trees. Another horticulturist named Michael Darr from Georgia. USA developed very popular dwarf and semi-dwarf cultivars like Legastromia indica, Gamad 1, Gamad 5, Gamad 7, Gamad 9, etc. In China, a fragrant flowered hybrid has been developed by hybridizing Legastromia indica with another species called Legastromia caudata. One can choose crepe myrtle cultivars of required color, height, and shape to suit his available planting site. For small size space, cultivars like Pokomuk, Hopi, Ekoma, Chikacho, Dynamite, Gamad 1, Gamad 7, etc. can be selected. For small garden, cultivars like Tonto, Juni, Lipan, etc. can be chosen. For large space and street tree, Tall cultivars like Muskogi, Tuscarara, Shu, Natched, etc. can be chosen. Now about its propagation. It can be propagated through seeds, stem cuttings and root cuttings. Presently, its commercial propagation is mainly done by soft root and hardwood cuttings. Lastly, about its planting and maintenance tips. For its planting, selection of open site is very important to receive at least 6 hours direct sunlight to ensure blooming for a long period. In shade areas, it may not flower or will flower less. It comes up well in all soil types with good drainage, although it prefers clay loam soils. Before purchasing, you should decide cultivars of desired colors, shape, size, whether you need dwarf or tall cultivars, multi trunk or single trunk plant to avoid pruning in future. Preferably, powdery mildew resistant cultivars should be planted. If necessary, only corrective pruning should be done by removing congested branches during winter or early spring. Severe pruning and topping will spoil natural appeal of the tree and also will make the tree more prone to disease, scale insect, and cold damage problems. As flowers are produced in new growth, a second bloom can be encouraged by pruning flowers immediately after they fade. Regular watering during dry season is essential for good performance. Mulching is also equally important. The problems of aphids, white flies, and sooty mold can be managed by spraying insecticide like melatheon 
and ultra fine horticultural oil only light application of a complete general purpose garden fertilizer such as npk 10 10 10 should be applied in summer and spring better to avoid planting next to the house and also near driveway as flowers of some cultivars stain cars thank you for patient hearing